In your hand? My Absolutely very hand. not. <laughs> My very what a little... weird way to train up a prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another special side quest episode of Bards and Nobles. Uh, I'm Brian, the Laser Master, and uh, tonight I'm joined by Charles Nelson, the uh, android engineer named Token. <laughs> My name is Trey O'Neill. I am playing the intrepid pilot Corvus Hardy, number five. Aaron Williams playing a dangerous scientist named Max Spacecock. <laughs> Blake Harrison playing the sexy doctor, appropriately named Dr. Fieldgood. <laughs> Dr. And, sexy. <laughs> uh, to, for this episode, to do our recap, we have randomly selected one of our live studio audience members <laughs> <laughs> to uh, read that off for us. Mrs. Uh, Fieldgood. Uh, <laughs> Mrs. Catch Phil. us up. She's also a doctor. <laughs> she has her doctorate. It's, it's a PhD, but she's still a doctor. <laughs> Same thing. Okay, um, here is my recap of the recap. Um, Venezuela made South America hollow. The gorge was overflowing to the taint and caused the planet to collapse. Um, everybody searched for healing crystals, but found women beating worms, but they were actually worms. And then they got captured by the Amazonian. Are you reading a Mad Lib? <laughs> no, they went over it really fast. I took notes. This is very accurate. You got all the nouns and adjectives. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's exactly true. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I remember it. Look, I listen to all the podcasts. This is no, this is. Accurate. Thank you, Brittany is our number one fan. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. Uh, you guys all wake up to find your extremities chained to these, uh, into it. Uh, you're all laying on your backs, chained on top of these, like, stone, like, tablet things. And, uh, you look around and you see, you know, some Amazons standing guard. They've got, like, spears in one hand and laser pistols in the other hand. Um, it's a, it's a weird, weird mix of, like, Aztec architecture and random 60s style computer consoles everywhere. It's very Ray Punk. Like it's 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 a mix of stuff going on. All right. Um you wake up and see you look over and you can see that all four of you are, are chained up. And uh there's one Amazon one, two Amazons that are kind of making patrols around you guys. Uh every few minutes they get just get out of earshot. And then they'll walk back in and do a patrol. So, what are you guys doing? So, the only the two Amazons are the ones that we see. Yeah. And they're, they're occasionally out of your shot. Yeah. Right. And you guys are, like, outside. And you, you can see, like, the jungle around you. You see this, like, purplish, reddish uh, sky. It's got, like, star swirls above it and stuff. And a double crescent moon somehow. Oh. Um, it's real space agey. Pretty cool. Yeah. So what you doing? I tell Dr. Feelgood that in case anything happens to me, uh, I need you to be the first mate. <laughs> so if anything happens to me, you're the captain, okay? Okay. I take that. My murder plan's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that is probably the best decision you can make. Yeah. I thought um, about making the pilot, but that's too much power. That's way too much power yeah, for one person. Yeah, why would you want to make the pilot the captain? <laughs> <laughs> it's way too much power in one, in one person's hands. I said, that's the sexiest decision you made today. <laughs> um, I try to refocus the conversation. We need to find the uh, diverginator. Oh, yeah, that's gone missing. I don't have no clue where um, it's at. Well, I'm hoping that it, it was destroyed in that explosion because... Hmm, why, why do you hope that? That is the only thing on board that can uh, determine if you're a slug or not. So the slug people will be trying to kill the person mm. with the diverginator. 
This is uh well I, I assume you can it's go home, Brian. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> I assume it's destroyed in the crash. There was a lot of damage in there. I, like I said, Darcy didn't even make it. That's good. That's good. Good news that it was destroyed because now we're doomed. Yeah, but w- let's come up with a plan. Uh, <laughs> what is our position? How yeah. are we? Uh, what what order are we in? Um, it's uh, you guys are all in a row. Okay. All right. The stone tablets are in a row in front of this like. The steps to this uh, uh, ziggurat shaped thing with like a, there's always a goddamn ziggurat. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a a giant computer up at the atop of it. All right. Oh. So in order, uh, I'm just gonna go random here. You're gonna go Blake, Aaron, Trey, Charles, <laughs> and then there's a fifth <laughs> tablet that has a skeleton chained up with um, a crushed pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Nice, nice. I see that. I say I like where this is going. Um, while they're talking, I very quietly talk to uh Tobin. I stopped talking to listen. <laughs> no, you were talking to this entire thing. I have no like, no, you guys had a conversation. Yeah, a I've, I've got like five or ten minutes to talk about whatever I want to. <laughs> okay. Token, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Uh, I, I I'm pretty sure that uh what Max is He's working with the worm people. <laughs> Maybe. He was he was like, hey, we're all friends. And then when uh I can't remember what Blake's name is. <laughs> Dr. Feelgood. Dr. Feelgood. When Dr. Feelgood uh punched one of the nurses, which was a weird move. <laughs> uh the worms came out of him. And so I'm I'm fairly certain that Max is working with a worm or may have worms in him. Wait, you saw worms come out of Max? No, no, no. But he was like, hey, I'm friends with these two nurses. And then like worms ah, came out of the nurses. Saying. All I'm saying is Max is no good. Sexy, sexy nurse, <laughs> sexy doctor may be, <laughs> <laughs> may be on their side too. I don't know. All right. Let's um, see if we can yeah. get free and figure this out. All right. Um, so the... Uh, as you guys are having a conversation, you overhear some of the Amazon Amazonians, uh, the thigh maxers. Yeah. The thigh maxers talking to each other. Um, something about, uh, preparing the captives, uh, sacrifice them, sacrificing them to the sex bot. God, um, <laughs> and, to uh, fembot. <laughs> um, and, uh, that, <laughs> that's the device. They found, uh, something about like, where is it? Cause, uh, I don't know why I even rolled that. Um, <laughs> because uh, Queen Deanna is looking for it. So. Not a hot name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's almost like saying like Carol or something. <laughs> to all of our listeners named Carol, we apologize. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, what are you guys doing? Um, it looks like you're gonna have to uh, try to figure out an escape soon, or you're gonna get sacrificed. As and then you as all look over at the crushed pelvis skeleton guy. As soon as the uh, patrol is out of earshot, I try to uh, just use like my robotic arms to yeah. see if I can burst free. What are we bound by? Rope? Chains. 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 No, these are heavy <laughs> chains. Anti-robot chains. chains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are these are heavy chains that um brute force is not going to be enough to break through them. Hmm. Um Do I still have my uh laser gun in my hand? In your hand? My Absolutely hand. not. <laughs> my very What a weird way to train up a prisoner. <laughs> Do I still have my <laughs> variable beam pistol? No. It's 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 in your waistband, but your hands are chained up here. Is um, that true? No. It's in your pocket. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Feelgood. Uh, I snuggle up closer. He's right next to me, right? Yeah. Uh, you guys are like four feet apart. But yeah. <laughs> right next to each other. So I scoop my legs out as far as I can. 
Schwartz. Out of yeah. what? <laughs> I'm bound by my hands, right? No, your legs and feet, man. I my mean, legs and arms. arms. Legs and arms and legs. <laughs> my legs and feet. Your arms and legs are chained to a thing. My arms. Exposing arm. your, your core yeah. and torso. Gotcha. Corso. Your corso. <laughs> Is that his character? Your character's name? It's Corvus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Exposing your Corvus Hardy. <laughs> okay. Well, that's there goes my name plan. For my penis. You know what? You're right. Your legs are free. What are you trying to do? Uh, oh, I, shit. I uh, I uh, scoot as much as I can over towards Doctor Philgun. I'd say, "Hey, there's something in my pocket. Uh, can you get it out?" <laughs> I uh, I wrap my legs around him. It's my VBP. And I start trying to use uh, my pelvis to kind of like bump his gun out of his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is obvious. This is not feelings. a time for cold, calm rationality. This definitely feels like a, a wild, passionate action. <laughs> so, <laughs> give me a give me a feelings roll. How many? Um, <laughs> this is obvious. Are you, wait, wait. Are you bumping back? If that helps. Yes. So you get oh, two definitely He's like pushing his pelvis into my... Yeah, you guys are trying mind. to find the rhythm. Yeah. So like yeah. you're not both pushing <laughs> at the same time. Right. Like, you have to roll over your, over your number, which is what, two? Okay. I rolled a six and a one. So one success. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So the rigorous bumping and grinding between you guys uh, knocks the pistol <laughs> loose. And it falls to the ground. It scatters across the, the tile or the stone floor. And you hear, hey, what's that over there? And then you see one of the large Amazonian women's wielding a spear and pistol mm-hmm. coming up. And uh, she's just like, what are you guys doing? And she points her spear at you. At me? Yeah. Uh, I, well, uh, my friend and I couldn't help but notice... <laughs> How voluptuous you were, and he and I were, I mean, we were just talking about you, to be honest. Uh, we've never seen a woman of such such beauty, and, you know, it's just taken me by surprise on this one. Uh, so what, you, what, what is your goal with this conversation? What are to you going to distract her from the gun. Um, <laughs> distract her to get her to go away? Distract yeah. her to do something? Or you just want her to get her to I'm get just out? trying to keep her attention away from the gun. Okay. All right, give me a feelings roll. Are you helping at all? Can I can I help with this? How are you helping? If you are, I'm gonna be like, first off, baby girl, do you squat? <laughs> and secondly, how much? <laughs> because I know yes is the answer to the first question. Yeah, boom! You you almost you audibly hear a spadoosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me two d six. All righty. And you're trying to roll feelings over your yeah you're rolling feelings. I'm so trying over to roll number. over my number. Yeah, which is what four? It's a five. Five. All right. And if I fail, <laughs> she uh, let's see, one two. All right, she says, "Hey, are you trying to distract me from that pistol <laughs> thing over there?" And she steps on it, and crushes it flat. You hear a. Pzzz. Um, and then she that calls was your, over. That was your pistol, wasn't it? Uh, she's like, "What? Where's my?" No. <laughs> <laughs> she I calls over. The she calls over to someone. No, no. She, she at this point, she already called over someone, and she says, "Take him." And she points at Doctor Feelgood, and so they unchain him and they bring him away. Um, and as they're carting you off to uh, somewhere else in the village. Um, you see a pile of scrap, all right? And sitting atop the scrap of like, there's all kinds of um, just broken parts. You recognize it from the T-Rex. Okay. There's different ship parts. There's like uh, an engine. There's console boards. Sitting on top of it is the plasma diverginator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they bring you, they bring you to the largest hut around. And inside, you see uh, Queen Deanna, who is uh, just as as voluptuous and and thick as the rest of them. The (laughs) thickest, in fact. (laughs) Oh. Yeah. I do like them thick. And she's sitting on uh, two uh, 
Yeah, two two dudes. <laughs> like they're they're like on their hands and knees. They have to support her up. They each like one dude is encompassing by one cheek. Yeah, yeah. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and uh, what is this game again? <laughs> she just like state your purpose here. Um. Well, my thick thad queen. <laughs> me and my boys. We're here to uh, ask for a little bit of your uh, high lithium crystals. All right. Try, try lithium crystals. All right. Um, Bye. Are you, are you telling him to try lithium crystals? <laughs> I whisper it to, to Token. <laughs> At this point, I'm just speaking nonsense. <laughs> um. So what are, you, what are you trying to, are you just like trying to get try lithium um, crystals out of her? I'm just trying to with, th- with this first. I'm just trying to de-escalate the uh, conversation, okay. kind of like calm her down, get okay. her get her more open to uh, us being, you know, not a threat to her. Gotcha. Well, I, I, at the thighs comment, she instantly does like a, uh, um, what is that? Uh, Flex down. No, no, the the leg <laughs> change drop. that movie. Oh yeah, uh, the uh, oh uh, basic instinct. Ba- basic yeah. instinct. Yeah, she she pulls a basic instinct on you. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so thick you don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally zero thigh gap. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um. Um. Let's see how I play this. So uh, she's like, no, the uh, the charlithium crystals are for uh. For the Sue Snoo. <laughs> the dark ones. <laughs> like evil. Like oh my god. Yeah, you know, fuck it, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um and you can see like for a split second, you see like a little flicker out of her ear. Uh, um <laughs> oh shit. Um at that, I give her the basic instinct back. <laughs> like, sh- like, it looks like I'm sitting gum. Like, real hard. And, All right, what are you trying to do? What's, um, what's the well, goal at, of this conversation? Okay, no, so this, at this point, I'm like, well, um, I'm just going to persuade with this one. I'm like, that's funny because we're exactly on the same side. We're here uh, fighting for the Dark Ones as well. All right. Um... <laughs> But I need my crew released because we need to uh, go into the mines, gather up some trilithium, take it to the, the dark ones. They could make it out themselves. You know how it is. There we go. All right. Uh, give me a feelings roll to uh, convince her to let everyone go and let you guys go into the mines. And One or two. Um, uh, I mean, he's a sexy doctor. I'm a sexy doctor. He, and he's using his... <laughs> What I heard, bubble gum. <laughs> All right, two d six. Yeah, All right. I think like he's also a bubblegum expert. So you're trying to roll over a two. I rolled a two and a three. That means he rolled his own number. Oh yeah, you did. Ooh. So you get to ask me a special question. Um, what it do, girl? I'm gonna ask that mouse. her. To, am I asking you or her? Me. You can ask him um, anything. 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 Ask for her measurements. Are all of the barbarians taken over? Or is it just the queen? Yeah, I'm going to need them. (laughs) With them digits, girl, and I'm not talking about a phone. (laughs) Um, Are all the barbarians taken over? Um, Yes. Yes, they are. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Duly noted. All right. Uh, she says, um, "Oh well, uh, then of course we'll let you, we'll let you collect them, and then you can you can bring them so we can complete the ritual." Uh, yeah, and that sounds like a good idea. We'll just go collect them. We'll come right back here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so fast forwarding. Amazons release you. They uh, give you back your uh, equipment, except for your gun. Is my gun completely broken? Yeah, it's fucked up. I have my gun, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would would like to 
can I like let them know about the uh, the Virginizer without uh, the let who know the um, rest of the crew? Yeah, the rest of the crew. Uh, sure, you can whisper to them because at this point you've gotten all your stuff and they're kind of escorting you to the mine. Okay, I'm like guys, we need the Virginator real bad. I thought it got destroyed. Uh, that's what you told me, but. You lied, so it's out on the rubble heap. <laughs> <laughs> what? Rubble oh, heap of what? Looks like pieces of the ship. <laughs> so we don't have a ship. Wait, did you see my leg? Did not see your leg. <laughs> but right now you've got like a stick jammed up in there. Oh, okay. just want- <laughs> I was going to see three PO him. <laughs> <laughs> With just another leg? No, no, just uh, Chewbacca. Oh, where's gotcha, gotcha. in the backpack? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, what what do you uh, what do you guys do? Are all of you going to the mine right now? Apparently, I well, don't think we uh, have a choice. Doctor Feelgood makes a good point. We should probably try to get the diverginator back. How about we split up? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and try to go get it. Uh, no, it's yeah. Definitely- well, I'm gonna need some help. That's why I said we should split up. Okay. Where's the rest of our crew? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> not a mess, Shit. <laughs> yeah. um, they were all women. Your all female crew got destroyed by the Amazons. Oh. It was it was a one sided fight. It was so bad. That's a weird move. Okay, yeah. um, it was a power play. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> message received. <laughs> yeah, and I definitely I'm like, oh, we're gonna have to bang all these chicks real hard. I'm sure. Let's get. <laughs> Let's get to that part of the story. All right. So you guys are splitting up? Uh, yes or no? I, I'm i going to the mine. Okay. I don't know. Where are the Amazons that's uh, a, escorting us? Yeah, that's a good idea, Corvus. Uh, They'll escort whoever's going to the mines to the mines. Token, you want to go with me to get your leg back? <laughs> sure. Token and I are going to this scrap piece. All right. So are you, you're going to the mines with Corvus? Um, yeah, I'll be like, Captain... We need that di- diverginator. That's why I'm making this mission my priority. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to leave that in your hands and I'm going to go with the pilot. All righty. We have successfully split up. All right. That's what you so, want. <laughs> uh, Corvus, Corvus and Dr. Feelgood, they escort you to the entrance of a mine. And, you know, it's got like wood beams and a lantern hanging there. It's it's just a mine stuck on this planet for some reason. Um <laughs> But there's definitely uh, a threat of some kind that makes this mine dangerous to navigate. What is it? Uh, it is... A canary imagination. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> Something better. It is a lava monster. All right. The... the Just one. The, uh, <laughs> the Amazons, they're warning you about the lava monster that roams around in the mine. That's what makes it so difficult for them to collect trilithium crystals. And the lava monsters are the natural enemy of alien brain worms. Wait, did he say lava or llama? Yes. <laughs> yep. Ooh, a llama made of lava. <laughs> yeah, it's a lava monster that walks it's around like lava. <laughs> it's, it's pronounced <laughs> yama. yama. It spits lava at you. <laughs> oh, God. I made it worse than <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There was no way to make it better. So, <laughs> uh, so is that you guys just trying to go and like pocket as much crystals as you as you can? Yeah, uh, I grabbed the lantern. You mentioned All right, earlier, you remember and they're volatile. <laughs> I uh, I just try to check out the doctor's ears, and see what's going on in there. All right, all right. I mean, they look like healthy ears. Any any worms happening? No worms. I just pull my earlobe. I'm like, get down in there deep, baby. Uh, I stick a finger in there, see what I get. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Clean. He's he. You know, he's like. Uh, he does yeah. That. He does one of those things. All right. That's about it. I get behind the ear a little bit, just to you know. I got a half chub, like one hundred percent, one hundred percent half. One hundred percent half. So fifty percent. I'm no math whiz, but <laughs> no um, worms. I uh, I go, doctor. I'm afraid our new captain is working with the worms. Um. Yeah, you know what happened with the Diverginator, right? Yeah, yeah. He vanished that. with his girlfriends. Right. <laughs> Who were like chock full of worms. 100%. Yeah. 
So I don't know if he's full of worms or if he's just a <coughs> worm sympathizer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's a squiggler, if you know what I mean. I 100% All right. am behind that. All right. If he comes back with a divergenator, we need to get away from him. Well, we need to see what he does with the divergenator, but... I don't think we give him the chance. I think we get it from him. We just, oh yeah, we'll snatch it from him. Yeah, all right. And I'm use just, it on him. Right. I just want to make sure we're on the same team here. And we, we did get the Divergenator, get some of these Trilithium crystals, kill oh. kill the scientist. We'll use we, the Divergenator on him. Yes. It is anal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what have you. I will, whatever you feel is necessary. <laughs> That's the only way to pull out yeah. an alien brain worm is through the uh, through the anus. You're, you know what? You're the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll let you fly the heap of trash. I will do the doctoring. We may need to find a new ship if that many parts of the ship are in a pile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we head down into the mine as we talk. Okay, about yeah, this, yeah, sure. Um, you uh, you have a run into the lava monster. Uh, are you guys? How are you guys gathering crystals? They're just like. Sticking out of the walls. Uh, um, what's it take to get one out of the wall? How big you are pull they? Pull on it. All right. <laughs> I, I tug and I tug. But if necessary, use both hands. Are they big? I'll even spit on uh, it. They're <laughs> like they big. They're like softball sized. <laughs> yeah. Crystals. And you just pull them as off far the wall. as girth goes. <laughs> How many? Are they spherical? Uh, no. But like a like you get like a geode and just like yeah it comes off. Well, um, I mean, yeah, I, I, I tug mean, on them. I well, like, are you, are you guys like, uh, I don't know, passionately rushing through trying to get as many as you can? Or are you like, <laughs> I don't know, tactically trying to get through this mine? I'm trying to force a, a roll. <laughs> I, I, uh, I feel like we should try to get as many out of each patch that we find. We should dig as deep as possible. I mean, what tools do we have? That sounds like cold rationality to me. All right. No. <laughs> what tools do we have to do this? That's true. Um, Just our laser blasters? Yes. All right. Yeah. I, as best as I can, I try to shoot these things out of the wall. Okay. Uh, give me a uh, laser roll. All right. You want to help me here, Doc, or no? Nah? Um, yeah, I come up behind him, and I, like, put my arm like this and, like, steady his elbow. Sure. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> All right, uh, a one and a six, one success. So one success. Yeah. All right, we'll uh, skip over to uh, <gasps> token and <gasps> Max. Max, <clears throat> you uh, you find um, you find the rubble, mm. the, the pile that has the diversionator that has the ship parts, um. You also see something on the opposite side of the clearing that could maybe be used <clears throat> to get out of there somehow. What is it? To get out of where? This planet. The planet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it looks like there is <clears throat> a pilotable escape pod from another ship Okay. over there. All right. Uh, one escape pod. Yeah. Uh, which at the max you can put in like two people. All right. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so you see the rubble sitting over there. Yeah. Uh, as if you openly approach it, the Amazons just kind of like push you back, and they're like, "No, get back." Well, we have, we have some equipment in there that that we need to to deal with the the lava monster in the mines. Do I know about the lava monster in the mines? No. Okay. To to uh, <laughs> extract our mining, the crystals. Yeah, our mining equipment. Yeah, we need there. to get our mining equipment out of there so that we can extract the crystals to help you guys perform the ritual. Uh, eh, sounds feasible. All right. She just walks off. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, token. You're an android. Do you look like a robot, or do you look like like you have human skin? Uh, are you like a data? <laughs> yeah. Are you like yeah? Are you like data or C three PO? It, it's a mix. Where so like my face looks Monsters like human data. skin, but like you know, arms and legs are metallic. So you're a Borg. Nice. Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now that I know what you look like, 
Now I can find your leg. I'm horrified. <laughs> yeah, you're looking for a metallic robotic uh, leg All right. that was ripped off. Yeah. Well, so, every, everything in the pile is just like this dull gray color, but the divergator and the, the leg are like, they have like a dark outline and they're shiny and sitting. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, well, there's the leg. Let's get that on you first and then we'll, we'll be right. able to get the, the divergator and, you know, whatever else equipment we can find. They seem very right. selectable. <laughs> So I help him get his leg and I help him reattach it. Sure. Uh, you reattach the leg and you overhear some of Amazon's talking that the uh, the signal has been sent that the queen should be here any moment mm-hmm. and to get everything prepared to complete the ritual. Gotcha. Man, they're real dead set on this ritual. By the way, did you know Cassie and Heather were worms? <laughs> <laughs> did you know about that? I mean, I experienced that when they ripped my leg off. <laughs> And they're like, did you know it beforehand? No, I didn't. Well, they were with you. So did you know it beforehand? I went to the med bay to uh, check on Captain Darcy and he was dead. So that whole deal, like they were friendly. They were, they didn't show any type of aggression at all. Hmm. So I don't know. Wait a minute. You're not showing any type of aggression at all. <laughs> you, don't think I'm a worm. you don't think I'm a worm, do you? It's possible. I'll show you what I already know. And I take the Diverginator. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. And yep. I prove that I'm not a worm. All right. How? He- <laughs> How does it work, Blake? You tell me. You're the one who said it takes I'm the doctor, worms. And you're not how near how me. do yeah, you think it works <laughs> as you attempt to use it? <laughs> put it in your mouth. I dare you. Well, <laughs> all I know, <laughs> yeah, put it in your mouth. <laughs> all I know is Dr. Feelgood said this checks for worms, and I can use this to prove my innocence. Yep. So I overlook it and I take a rational guess that yeah, it does a little uh, ATM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've just by you, the shape of it, yeah, you what guys are uh, standing outside in the in, in the opening. I yeah. guess you, you've gathered quite the crowd as you are uh, manipulating this thing and trying to mm-hmm. insert it. Okay, so yeah. it's pretty obvious how it's used. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> it says anus and it points. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like an AED but that has it like has audio ins- and visual instructions yeah. on there with the graphics. So this, it you. says it says on there connect connect tab A to hole B <laughs> <laughs> to complete divergination. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I diverginate myself. Yep, and, and I prove- everyone watches in horror. <laughs> that do any worms come out? Huh? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, and I tell Token now you know. All right, <laughs> you proved it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so let's see what else we got around here in these scrap piles that we could use in the mines. I say it very loudly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I search for any type of devices that I could combine into a projectile weapon. You know what? You're the mad scientist. You're pretty sure you find what you need to uh, come. You're like, I'm pretty sure that goes together into a projectile weapon. Fantastic. So I take the power source. I take the combobulator and the fissionator. Yeah. The fissionator is the key part. Right. So yep. I connect all that Everybody together. An eater. <laughs> <laughs> I, I connect all that together to the diverginator. Yep. So now the diverginator and the fissionator are connected. Yep. So now you can do what with it? I can Launch create it on people's buttholes, I guess. <laughs> it's Project a fissionator. It. You have what a you... long distance diverginator? It's a fissionator. What do you think happens when you perform fission? So it doesn't diverginate anymore? The diverginator helps. It's like a. I don't you know think what? it I diverginates the fish. You know, as you're explaining I this, I don't think you're a scientist. As, <laughs> in real life, as you're explaining this uh, mechanical monstrosity yeah. to the android engineer who's just looking at you dumbfoundedly, <laughs> um, a ship lowers out of the atmosphere. Yeah, right? and you recognize it as belonging to the infamous <laughs> space pirate queen, okay. Frederick. <sighs> Frederick. Yeah. Frederick Faru. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more time to configure this, but uh, grab that tennis racket and let's go. And then we run. All right. So you, you guys gra- run. Wait, did you grab the tennis racket? I what do you run to? I confusingly grabbed the tennis racket and All begin right. running. Where do you run to? To the mines. 
All right, on the way to the mines, you guys run smack dab into uh, Dr. Feelgood and Corvus, who are panting and have singe marks and burns. <laughs> Their clothes have burnt or holes burned into them. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're like steam and smoke coming off of them. And you guys <laughs> run into each other. Um, trilithium crystals shower everywhere, all over the ground. Uh, and you guys are just like in a pile. You hold your breath as you panic for a second as the trilithium crystals all bang up against each other and like scatter on the floor, but nothing blows up. All right. I all begin right. Uh, picking them up. I help pick them so up. So as you guys as you guys do that, uh, the ship has already landed in the village. Yeah. Uh, Queen Pirate Frederick is here. We probably need to hijack her ship. That's my guess. It's a good guess. <laughs> um, do I see this? Contraption. He's attached to the Diverginator. Yes. Yeah. I go. Oh shit! The Diverginator. I <laughs> snatch it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Be careful with it. Do not twist this knob. If you twist that knob, anything it shoot, anything that touches it is not gonna not gonna last very long. Um. Okay. And I thought I snap the Diverginator off of his thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just break it off. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> Let's hope this doesn't destroy the world. That's a wild action. So give me a feelings roll. All right. One or two. Wait, is it not technology? Uh, yeah, I feel like it's a wild action. I feel like it's technology science. No, putting together would be technology science. Ripping that off would not be. <laughs> he seems pretty cold about it. No, no, no. no. He's, he's, no I'm very he's so hot. He's so hot right now. <laughs> I have never been more attracted to the doctor. <laughs> so I roll one or two. Uh, I roll two d six. I'm not into it, but I'm into um, it. Um, one succeed. All right. Um, you break it off, but you break the diverginator in twine. Huh. The rest of the stuff, the fissionator part, is still intact, but the diverginator is now no longer diverginator. Um, that was the whole thing. Yeah, you broke the only way to determine if you guys are worms. I look at it. I'm like, why would your wild, passionate self do this? <laughs> like, why did you attach this delicate uh, uh, medical instrument to an obvious weapon? <laughs> because I was going to use it to diverge the fission. Doctor, you know why? I, I whispered to him. I was like. He needs to destroy it. And I, I'm like, <coughs> I, didn't, some, I didn't destroy did it. Someone used this. The diverginator. Yeah. <laughs> the captain used it on himself. Did he shove the handle up his butt? <laughs> <laughs> and I pull up the square end, and I'm like, the square end's the part that goes in. <laughs> Token. Oh. I pro- I proved myself. Did I not? Wait, I, I which- think he got it all up there eventually. <laughs> There may have been some, there may have been some trial and error, but we got there. Well, if you've used the diverginator yourself, you've got anal fissures real bad. <laughs> yes. I might need to kiss that. He, he's not a worm or a virgin. <laughs> well, Doctor Feelgood, you are the doctor here. I will defer to your expertise, but I will say I kiss his boo boo <laughs> on his butthole. <laughs> All right, now it's your turn. You guys watch on in horror as he pries open his butt cheeks. And he, uh, yeah, he heals him. Uh, by the time this whole ordeal is done. Uh, <laughs> I look on in horror. You guys Whole realize ordeal. there are no Amazons around, but you do hear chanting, uh, and you see the flickering of fires lit off in the distance of the towards the direction of the village. <laughs> All right, I was not listening. Chanting. Sorry, I was right, laughing. Listen, guys, listen. That ship has to be unattended right now because of whatever is going on. We don't need these crystals. We need to drop everything, get on that ship, and steal it. Well, actually, we do need the crystals because we need to get them back. <laughs> <laughs> Backtrack half a step. We need these crystals, a few of them, and we need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, I mean, I guess at this point, since we're definitely all alone, as far as I can tell, if they don't already know this, I explained that everybody's worm people on this yeah, planet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's worm people, and then I point at... <laughs> and I, I kind of like go behind them. 
Yeah. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Uh, that all the warm people are over there, and I point by, I point over him and behind him towards the Amazons. <laughs> Wait a minute! Uh, Did you know that Cassie and Heather were worms? Uh, do you really want to get into that right now? Yes. <laughs> I know that you. As the you, captain, I, we have to know who we can trust. Uh, that's a great question, Captain. I know that you seem to be working with them. Seem to be working with them. What evidence do you have of that? Uh, we all went to the medical bay and you- I went to the medical bay to check on Captain Darcy. And, and he was dead all of a sudden and- That's not my fault. It seems like the ship was crashed and- The pilot would have been at fault. The three of you seem to somehow survive in that area. Token can speak and vouch for me. That- You guys are having this conversation- on your way back to the village yeah. yeah, and you bump into one of the Amazons because <laughs> you're distracted <laughs> arguing back and yeah. forth. But the Amazon doesn't react. <gasps> and you see little worm things coming out of her ears and you look over and across the clearing and on top of the ziggurat, you see that the Amazons have uh, the space pirate queen just on her knees and Queen Deanna has like this giant worm thing coming out of her mouth <laughs> and, of her what uh she's she's about to uh worm the space pirate queen now you know the original goal of the alien brain worms was to corrupt the space pirate queen because that's somehow going to lead to destroying the solar system for some reason mm-hmm. all right uh you see that up ahead you see that none of the amazons are currently uh, reacting to you and you'll see the space pirate queen's ship off to the side, unattended. What are you guys doing? I make a run for it, holding whatever crystals I have. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoop, 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 whoop. All right. And I go, what is everyone else doing? I, uh, Doctor, <clears throat> token, with me. <laughs> I follow. Also I, holding a bunch of crystals. Yeah. I, I run with them and uh, I try to destabilize the fissionator and toss it. All right. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> go with him. The Amazon? Yeah, the Amazons. <laughs> no. That scene right. is not cash money at all. <laughs> um all right, uh you guys give me uh laser laser laser, I guess. I love laser. Two uh, or how many D? Yeah. How many oh. D's? Uh I feel like I'm real Bofa. good at uh, both of D's. It's pretty dangerous. It's also science. Uh, it's probably the most intrepid thing I've done. <laughs> That's fine. 2d6 is all Yeah. Around. 2d6? Yeah. Wait, are, is this a laser or feelings? Oh, this looks like laser. I think. Well, a one and a five. So I get to know something special. Oh, yeah, because your number is five. Two yeah. success. All right. I got one success. success. One success. All right. Um, the complication is that there's a big old Amazon worm lady standing in front of the previously unattended ship um <laughs> uh, that's that's yours you said one success yeah your stick leg falls off <laughs> <laughs> no i had, i oh yeah you I, repaired it yeah yeah um your okay. repaired leg falls off <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure your repaired leg falls off <laughs> it wasn't installed properly where do you chunk it uh as close as I can to the gathering. Okay. Um, now this is fission we're talking about. As opposed you to... Are, and it's completely intended to just blow up. Yeah. Alright, and you get to the ship. You get in there and you start piloting. And you're like, boop, 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 boop. Flipping all the I switches. Flip three switches. Alright. Uh, you hobble your leg on over. You grab it. Right. Yeah, I drop a few crystals so I can pick up my leg and I hop to the ship. Perfect. You uh, you just juke the, uh, the Amazon lady. Ooh, I give her a little tickle as I run by. Nice. She goes, <laughs> um, <laughs> she's still that much with it. <laughs> uh, you get into the ship. I run to the ship. All right. Can the, I describe, uh, huh? Does, can I describe the fission aid? Absolutely, you it goes can. Off? Okay. Yeah, because it's going on. It goes. Yeah. Vroom, vroom, All right. Vroom, so it's vroom, two. Vroom, it's two cylinders, right? Uh-huh. And then they collapse together. And when they do, they start pulsing, as you've been describing. Yeah. Blue waves of light shoot out, 
And that's yeah. all that happens. Just like every every half second or so, just a bright blue wave of light pulses out from it. Okay. So no explosion? It wasn't meant to explode? It's radiation poisoning. Gotcha. You'll kill them in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> the silent killer. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, it's like everyone standing looks next mild- to a nuclear reactor. Everyone looks mildly displeased uh, as far as the Amazons. They look over, they realize it's not doing anything, mm. and they complete mm. the ritual. <laughs> um, but you guys fly off into space. You don't even see that part. You just, <laughs> boom, you're gone. Gotcha. You got the, the crystals. Wait, wait, you're heading we, back to the consortium. Before we leave the atmosphere, is the doctor nearby? Nearby? Me? What? Yeah. In the pilot seat? I go. We have to get rid of the scientist. We definitely need to do something about him. Yeah, he threw a useless bomb in. <laughs> yeah. We gotta, we gotta kick him out of the uh, while while the doors are still open. You need to kick him out. The airlock. Yeah. You need to jettison him. Are right the doors now. still open? Yes. I say you grab him. I gotta fly the ship. You grab him. <laughs> You're standing right next to them having this conversation. <laughs> okay. You grab him, throw him out. I'll do a barrel roll. He'll be gone. <laughs> All right, do the barrel roll. All right. Um, as I'm, you're pulling away, the go door's still open. Leg. You do that. The, the door's still open, and you, you, you can see <laughs> you can see that the worms are starting to just like explode in like these like gushy, I don't know bits as they just explode out each one by one and then everything's just like (laughs) gushy bits was my nickname in college (laughs) (laughs) plan went off without a hitch so you guys fly off into the into space is that what's happening yeah with the door open (laughs) (laughs) do you you close the door what's happening i say i I wait till this plays out first i say uh wait what's your name max (laughs) (laughs) yeah max Laser, laser dong. Um, <laughs> I go. Scientist laser dong. Close the uh, close the door so I don't get sucked out into space. Absolutely, I close the door. Why is distracted? Grab him. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, you guys fight over the door, and we don't know what happens after that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just gonna do that. Everyone, just roll a d6 for me. Try again. Oh, I rolled my number. All right. Four. Two. One. Six. All right. Um, as you space speed off into space, you guys are, I don't know, he's trying to throw you out. You're closing the door. We, Dr. Feelgood, what are you doing? We zoom out past uh, the Andrew. What are you doing as, as you guys are leaving? Uh, repairing my leg. Gotcha. You're working on your leg, and we zoom out. The last, the last thing we see is the captain. As like he smiles into the camera, his eyes flicker, and the little worm goes, "What? I was infected? No, him. Oh, I'm sorry, the pilot. The pilot. pilot. Yeah. Ah. No, no, no. The captain. <laughs> <laughs> now you're the one. You were warm the whole time. I thought. You- <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was it. You guys win. I guess. I don't know. We made it off. I won because I'm the worm. You just, you stopped the ritual. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it blew them up, and. Uh, the solar system gets survives, and you have a new sweet ship. So pretty that's cool. cool. And I, I need allied you. myself with a worm. Mm. Yep, I'm gonna need someone to stick something in my butt to get this worm out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe next time we play lasers and fields. Uh, so yeah, do we have any mail to read? We sure do. That's read it. Fun. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That was pretty good. As far as a uh, simple. RPG, a one-page RPG. Yeah. That's a Again, that was Lasers and Feelings, written by John Harper. Well, Thanks, was, John Harper. That may be the most that Max has ever, the, the real Max, <laughs> <laughs> has ever spoken. I yeah. think I think wow. we should play more games without Boyd, because I feel like Max really shines. <laughs> <laughs> Can we give a shout-out to Fuck Boyd real quick? <laughs> Fuck Boyd! <laughs> Yeah. All right, this is from one of our patrons. His name's Jacob. His favorite character is Baron. Uh, he's clearly been bribed. He's, he's a worm. He's a worm. <laughs> he's a worm. <laughs> his, his determination t- to being a, a rules lawyer and pissing Boyd off is hilarious. <laughs> 
That part is true. <laughs> yeah, and, and those two things are separate. He just wants to piss Boyd off. Yes. <laughs> I also enjoy the short silences from Brian whenever he has to come up with the NPC dialogue on the fly from players antics. <laughs> that's, that's our goal yeah. is to confound Brian. Yeah. Uh, here's a question for us. If any of you have eaten at the summit, what's your favorite place to go? Your mom's house too. Right. He's from, he's from Alabama. He's oh, from nice. the Birmingham nice. area. So the he's summit should I bump into um, us? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like... Don't answer this for real. <laughs> yeah. He's going to get you. So the summit in in south of Birmingham, Alabama. Where do you like to eat? At the summit on Friday at 5. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the summit. The best place that I've eaten up there was probably Village Tavern. The most fun place. It's not the greatest food, but I do enjoy going there is Chewy's. That's my favorite. I was going to say Chewy's. Chewy's yeah. is aggressively okay. Food wise, but it's a really fun atmosphere. I really enjoy them because I really enjoy Mexican restaurants that make their own tortillas. And they they have that. That's like their yeah. one, like, the well, one honestly, thing. Honestly, I'll, yeah. I'll just go there and order cheese dip and tortillas, and like, I could be, I could be satisfied. I'm sorry, cheese dip and what? Tortillas. <laughs> they what? pronounced it differently the first time. Did I? <laughs> you kind of did. You like went in real hard. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Tortillas. <laughs> uh, my favorite place at the summit would be Taco Mama. Uh, and not Johnny Rocket. Well, no, Johnny Rockets has a soft part of my heart just because I worked there when I was a teenager. Yeah, that's all I got. Um, I heard you actually are Johnny Rocket. Uh, some guy came in with his ID, said Johnny Rocket, and that's tried awesome. to get free food. That was a, <laughs> our manager's like, nah, dog. That was, a, that was a missed opportunity for a name. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny Rocket, Rocket in this yeah. game. Um, fun fact about Chewies. I bumped into Trey and his wife there one time. Wow. wow. You did. Did this you apologize? I remember. I did apologize. And then I sat with him. Oh, cool. Yeah. We hugged it out and had uh, cheese dip and tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my favorite place <laughs> at the summit, um, as many of y'all know, I'm pretty big weeb, so it's going to have to be Abby. Oh, because yeah. Because they're... Um, ramen. The ramen is... It's the balls. Oh, that whatever it had, I had when we went, that pig belly pork uh, belly. I got the pork pig belly, belly. <laughs> pork pig belly curry belly. that I got. Yeah. Now that was on point. I had uh, Shake Shack is bullshit. I just want oh wow! I, we haven't been there. Bring it, once again. It's Bad. trash. Flip Burger is trash. Yeah. It's, uh, it comes down, but I really liked Flip Burger. Really? No, Shake Shack it's is bad. it's it's like five guys, but they're not really trying. What you uh, got, yeah. Charles? Uh, I like Cheesecake Factory. That's nice. a pretty good place. I know, like their menu has like way too much stuff on it, but you know it's it's good. It's got good atmosphere, mm -hmm. and it's got a really good cheesecake selection. So, I like good it. cheesecake. Um, and the chicken marsala is the tits. Yeah, get the what are they called? Like the buffalo, just like buffalo Wings. wraps or something <laughs> like that. It's like it's like buffalo chicken wontons. Huh. They're they're delicious. You get it. You married a Chinese girl. And there's a like a steak place up Taiwanese. there that, that's pretty good too. That's like really expensive. Seasons fifty two. No, uh, it's uh, Tavern at the Summit. Village Tavern. It it may be what you just. It, it's at the lo lower part. Village Ta to Tavern at the Summit. Cowfish or something. No, isn't there a place I think called it, Cowfish? It, it, it's it's PF Chang's. No. <laughs> it's no. Tavern at the Summit. <laughs> It's seven tavern. It's some place yeah. that has like sixty dollars steaks. It's ridiculous. It's tavern at the summit. Yeah. It's is that what Village Tavern is, or is no. that a completely nope. separate area? It's separate. Since we've okay. completely gone off the rails talking about food, seasons fifty two is actually really good too. Yeah. It's super expensive, but it's really good. I used to really like macaroni grill. So let me color on the table. So the answer to your question is <laughs> all the places are <laughs> our favorite places. <laughs> But yeah. Taco still, Mama. Still City Pops. Still, still City, City Pops, Pops baby. <laughs> Them coffee pops? Damn. All right. If you want to uh, ask us anything and have us read it off, just go ahead and send us a message. We'll yeah. do that. Thank Thanks. you, Tarkin Davis. Yeah, thank, thank you, Tarkin. Tarkin, who is our biggest, baddest patron. Uh, and thank you to all our other patrons who make this possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. If you want to join our patrons, just check out patreon.bardsandnobles. We got some cool rewards. We got yeah. stickers. We yeah. got t-shirts. Come support we'll, us. We'll sign a book for you. Yeah, don't do it for that. Do it because you love us. Uh, do it for whatever reason you feel like doing it. You know and what? so you can join the Discord and share yeah. memes. Yes, yeah, the Discord is, is a lot good. of fun. 
uh, Blake sh- shares loot. All right, all the thanks time. for listening, everybody. Bye bye. Wait, did I share loot? Yeah. Um, if you've made it this far <laughs> <laughs> and you want loots, hit me up on Discord. Also, if you've made it this far and have not sent us an email or wrote us a letter and sent it to our P.O. box, go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we have a P.O. box. Check it out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. I love you. Inside, nothing more but a bunch of zeros. Die!